The Nexus 5 still cost around 25,000 or more than 20,000 in the Indian market. Whereas the MI3 with the exact same specs like Snapdragon 800, 2.3GHz quad core, 2GB RAM and a 5 inch display that's 1080p display cost 14,000. That's almost 10,000 less than the Nexus 5. And when it comes to camera and battery, the MI3 beats the Nexus 5. So when you install AOSP ROM on the MI3 which is completely bug free, then you can say that this is the Xiaomi's Nexus 5 or it's better than Nexus 5 when it comes to performance and overall experience with the phones. So let's get started with the AOSP ROM review on the MI3. One of the most important things when you install a ROM on the phone is battery life. That the battery life should not decrease. It should not be less than what you get on the stock ROM uh, whichever it is. Like for Xiaomi it's MIUI, for Samsung it's TouchWiz. So when you install a custom ROM the mo important thing is that you should get a better battery life. And in the AOSP ROM the same thing happens. You will be surprised to see some of my screenshots of the battery life because I, I was running this ROM for around 2 weeks uh, and I have plenty of uh, screenshots to show you like here as you can see over here I have I ran the phone for around 1 day and 13 hours and the screen on time will be very surprising it's around 7 hours and 16 minutes and it's 7 hours and 16 minutes and even after this 28% of the battery is remaining so and I'll show you one more as you can see over here the screen on time is 4 hours and 55 minutes and the battery life uh, and still 11% of the battery is remaining so more than 5 hours of screen time was there always with this ROM so every time you charge the phone till 100% you will get around 5 hours or uh, more than 5 hours of screen on time I have one more as you can see over here the screen on time is 5 hours and 43 minutes and still 5% uh, of the battery battery is remaining that's you can get get about 6 hours of screen time too if you are not a heavy user after battery life the thing is performance has the performance reduced with the AOSP ROM the answer is no rather I would say the performance has increased very much I'll just play a game when it comes to gameplay on the AOSP ROM there are no issues at all you will not notice any type of difference uh, on MIUI on AOSP ROM when it comes to performance because performance on this phone is on this ROM rather is very smooth I'll just play a game for a while so as you can see that the gameplay is uh, not laggy at all I, I played this game for a very long time on the OSP ROM and there were, there were no hiccups at all So I'll just quit the game and let's see how it quits. So I just now press the home button and the game was end. Uh, so as you can see there are no hiccups at all with the gameplay too. And NFS Most Wanted is very heavy game as every one of you know it's around 2GB. So it's not an issue over here. So now the performance is very good RAM management. When it comes to RAM management uh, around 1GB of RAM is always free for me. As I'll show you just now, the running apps, it's 1GB is, RAM is free. Uh, this 1GB of RAM is almost free every time. So you don't have to worry about that. And this ROM is pre-rooted. So you can use app like Greenify. I use Greenify to have better RAM management and uh, to hibernate the apps in the background. Like I, if I don't want to run these apps in the background, I just hibernate it. So I am just using Greenify app over here. I have not underclocked the CPU when it comes to battery. All the battery stacks shown over here are with the 2.3 GHz quad core only. I have not underclocked the CPU. If you underclock the CPU to 1.8 or 1.6 GHz, then you can just imagine what the battery life would be. One more thing, you can use Expose Installer too. As this is purely OSP ROM, Expose Installer is uh, like you can use it anyhow. 
so i'll just switch on the wifi and as you can see over here uh, the network speed shown over here uh, these are because of the gravity box with the exposed so i am using a uh, gravity box boot manager using boot manager you can just uh, simply block the apps which you don't want to start with when you start your phone and i am using greenify too and i have greenified all these apps so i i haven't underclocked the cpu but i am using greenify app to have better ram management and uh, better lap, battery life too so this is pure aosp rom but still there are uh, some tweaks that i want that's the developer of this rom has added like you can customize the these toggles right here so if you want this uh, if you don't want this just uh, like, uh, tap over there and now you, you go into settings these. and then go into advanced settings then you will find these two like double tap to uh, sleep like if i have this status bar if i double tap on this it will just the phone will be blocked and there is cpu power mode you can select performance mode or normal mode i'll just uh, select normal mode right now if you have screen color adjust like if you like bluish color in your screen then you can select cool or na nature whatever you want when it comes to status bar you can have you can customize this in pure aosp rom without ex installing exposed installer you cannot have this bat this type of battery like circle with battery percentage inside so by using this you can have whatever whatever you want like these are the options battery circle battery circle and percentage this was the customizations added by the developer so now let's move on to camera the only bug present in the rom is that video recording is not possible always with the stock camera application with the stock camera application which is given with this rom is the google camera and if you turn on video in this app the camera will freeze and it won't shoot anything you can pass this bug by having snap camera camera application and you can record videos by using this and you can take photos too by using this so i'll just click a photo right now so the only problem with this application is that when the, this application is paid application if you use the free application then you have to wait for 8 seconds to get a picture i'll just show you some pictures clicked with this uh, application uh, with the aosp rom the pictures are very good there are uh, very much detailed the pictures are detailed and there are no issues at all with the camera quality of the device video recording uh, when it works for you video recording is very good but so many a times video recording doesn't work so the only bug present in this rom is the video recording bug this rom now comes with pre installed gaps like play store and all is pre installed so you get play music application as your music player but somehow i don't like this application so i use this music player application which is far better than that and uh, is very smooth to use the application is really good as you can see over here i'll be reviewing this application very shortly so you can try this application till that time when it comes to sound quality the rom has no bugs with the sound quality at all because the rom is based on the official kernel sources so you cannot expect any type of bugs with the call quality or the sound through the loudspeaker coming over here so that's not an issue many of the aosp users uh, asked were asked me about how to flash the latest update as there it was not possible for them using the updater app with the rom so i am on the latest build so that's not an issue if you don't get this 4.10.9 update then i'll just give you the link in the description below you can download from there uh, directly uh, and uh, install the rom through cwm like normal for installing the latest update do wipe your cache dalv cache and then flash the rom flashing this aosp rom on the device takes a very long time it's the longest i have ever uh, when it comes to dual boot dual boot is uh, supported for the rom uh, it's mentioned on the developers thread that dual boot is not supported but i tried dual booting this with this rom and it was possible and it i had no issues at all so if you can't buy an xs5 at the high cost it is don't worry just go ahead and buy the mi3 and install aosp rom and you will be more than happy with the rom and uh... so the final words when it comes to mi3 with aosp rom it's 
purely better than the Nexus 5 because overall when you compare with the camera performance, battery life you get with the AOSP ROM and the performance, it's more than a Nexus 5. So if you don't have a Nexus 5, then don't worry. And if you don't have the budget to buy a Nexus 5, do not worry. Just go ahead and buy MI3 and install AOSP ROM and you'll be more than happy to have a, a Nexus like device at this budget and more smooth than a Nexus 5. So this is it for this video guys. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and follow me on Google Plus and check out my other videos too. Thank you.